A tall student stood by the square next to mine, already engaged in identifying the sediments. Well, with a bit of luck, he doesn't speak English. Only French. I paid him no heed until I became stumped on whether I was looking at one layer or two. Quietly peering at his profile, he seemed rather familiar with the system. I guess it wouldn't hurt to ask him or at least try to communicate. Yeah, I was going to say, chances are, with a bit of luck, he speaks only French. Because Jesus, look at him. I'm not sure I want to actively socialise with him. Um, can I get your opinion on something? Hello, uh, bonjour. Still no reaction. I re reached out and gave him a gentle tap on the shoulder. Is that- Whoa! The touch jolted him so abruptly that I retracted my hand. He whirled around and glared at me. <laughs> it's that fucking thing on the side of his head, I'm telling you. It turns him off and on. We have besoin de quelque chose. Yeah, uh... <laughs> you know what? We're going to look at what that means. I feel we're going to be doing this a lot. My French is honestly horrendous. Uh, I have a general idea of what it could mean, but a lot of it I don't. He said, yes, do you need something? Okay. I got that bit. And that bit. <laughs> that was the only bit I understood. I'm sorry, I don't speak French. Uh, non parler. No. Oh. Anglais. <laughs> I don't even know why. Because he's a French speaker and went, oh, that's what Anglais is. English. That is one word I do know. But I can just imagine him just sort of like rolling his eyes and going, oh, Anglais. He placed his photograph on top of his square. Aloof student. Did you need something? Why did you say, oh, Anglais, if you then speak English? <laughs> yes, I'm actually, I'm trying to figure out the layers and I can't tell if this is one. I gently traced the soil, then pretended to punch, pinch the air to give an idea of width. Or two. It seems reddish at the top. He grabbed his trowel, getting the vibe of a serious and no-nonsense person. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I mean, that's not so much exposition as just telling me straight up. Yes, he is the uh, serious and no-nonsense person. The type whose family pressure him. You know that guy. Once I shuffled out of the way, he examined the area I'd indicated. Two. This stratum is more red, as you said, but gradually disappears around here. He etched a small line to mark the ending. I blinked as I recognised the differences, then nodded gratefully. Thanks so much. I mean, I sort of figured, but I wasn't sure either. It's nice to get a second opinion. I gave him a cheerful smile, but he remained impassive. He even seemed baffled when I reached down to initiate a proper handshake. I'm Melissa. I am one of the only foreign student here, if it wasn't so obvious with my language skills. <laughs> Does he look like the kind of person who, who likes nervous laughter? Melissa, no, be confident. Show them you mean business! And then punch him if he doesn't accept that. It's difficult, really. Reluctantly, he switched the trout to his left hand and we gave a solid shake before letting go. Kyla. Kyla? Are you from the future? What sort of fucking name is Kyla? <laughs> Come on, man. What are you, out of Tron? Uh, and that was it. With nothing else to work with from his introduction, I decided to bring up his skills. I'm guessing you're aspiring to be an archaeologist? No, he wants to go to the circus and perform juggling. What do you fucking think? Uh, you appear to know what you're doing. He returned to his side of the square and knelt down, grabbing his photograph. Yes, this is my fourth time here, so I'm acquainted with the subject. Fourth? Oh, you've come here three times, decided, yep, I need a fourth. And you, especially since you're not from around here? Well, I'm still deciding I'm pretty serious about it. Okay, so this is deciding if we want some points with him. I guess, why not, right? I'm pretty serious about it. Of course, I did. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't just randomly go from California to Belgium if you're not interested in something. I did come all the way from California to experience this firsthand. I also love the idea of working on such an old archaeological site. I'm surprised that they assigned me to excavate a 125,000 year layer. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna say, well, actually, I once did, isn't he? I looked upward, it did seem most of the students got the upper strata to work with instead. For someone so interested, you did get distracted easily. I could stick your face in the dirt and no one would know, other than everyone who saw us and the witnesses. It's f I'll do the same to them, they'll never know. <laughs> hey, it was all in French and I couldn't help but look around. Oh. 
Oh, we already fucked up with him. Since we're excavating next to each other, that makes us square mates. Or would that be Kara mates? Oh, God. He's not going to enjoy you saying any of this. Either way, I look forward to working alongside with you. He looked confused but gave me a mechanical nod. Right. Likewise. Yeah. He's he's just hoping you stop talking. <laughs> Even his last words felt artificial, and I lost him to his little world of micro stratigraphy. There we are, we got there eventually. I guess he values his concentration. I mentally reminded myself to bring my earbuds for next time. I had a feeling we wouldn't be making such small talk outside of excavations. The rest of the day was pretty uneventful. It was mostly a long wait for my photograph to be approved by Cherie, and then I got hit by jet lag. How'd you get hit by jet lag? I never understood jet lag because I'd n I've never experienced being fatigued after a flight. I always thought jet lag was being in a different time zone than the one you were previously in. So, I, I don't know. I fly a lot, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Just because I don't get it doesn't mean that other people won't, I guess. Despite my worries, Cherie said she would not deduct marks if I napped until dinner. Although she did scold me for forgetting my journal. Hey, I, it's my first day. You're allowed to be fine with me. I scanned the tables and maneuvered to where Cherie sat. I scooted to a spot on the bench and silently started my meal. After a few bites, I poked at the pasta dejectedly inside. Now I really wish Paige was here, and we promised to do so many things together too. <laughs> You'd probably fail considering- You promised to do several things, like, every week, right? Or was it one thing every week? I don't know, it's hard to say. I'm still enjoying this music, honestly. It's so Final Fantasy-esque. I glanced up, hopefully, at Cherie. I felt bad, but she was the only oasis in this unfamiliar place, and I clung to it. Not only that, aside from Kyla, none of the students greeted me. He didn't even greet you, if we're being honest. Or even tried to converse with me. I guess it was obvious that I didn't attend the same university. Of, of course, you, whatever. Will I fit in? The question was more to myself, but Sherry overheard. Worried? The students here can't be reserved, but I'm sure there'll be a few brave ones who'd like to practice their English with you. They're probably too focused from the lectures and the tasks right now. Yeah, to be fair, that is completely real. Like, the amount of times where you try and speak Spanish or French to someone like I try to, and they're like, no, 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 I want to practice my English. Like, all right, I guess. <laughs> Makes it easier for me. True, I'm sure once we're all used to the routine here, I'll have more chances to mingle. I ate with gusto, feeling confident that it does not take a lot to raise your spirits, does it? <laughs> that was it? Now you're happy. Okay. When I finished, Cherie glanced at my empty plate. Here, I'll take that for you. Try to get some rest. Her concern cheered me up and I chided myself for feeling anxious when I had barely arrived. I retreated to my tent. I settled down, contemplating about tomorrow. A musical tune in disrupted the quiet night. It was quickly silenced, but I knew the catchy introduction theme to Isthera anywhere. I grabbed my 3DP. No, I didn't leave my system on or anything. Was someone else playing? Oh, okay, so someone else has a 3DS. I noticed that when I did a stream yesterday on um, Twitch, there, there were so many people afterwards who stayed and chatted with each other and like added one another on the 3DS. I had no idea that many people had one. <laughs> I might as well play some Ishtera. A little grinding will do me some good. I'm mm, sure it will. I booted up the game and the first notes of the theme song blared loudly. I had forgotten that my earbuds weren't hooked to the handheld. I slid the volume down, hoping it didn't startle anyone. You're going to get a knock on your tent now. The low spirits I felt earlier today melted to the warm colours of the game. Ah, oh, no one said hi. What <laughs> the hell are these animations? Jesus. So we failed at catching. Hang on, we failed so we didn't get the points for it. Oh, good. Just because one guy couldn't catch. Dawn of the third day. I don't know who we were throwing to, because we haven't met anyone with blonde hair yet, but whatever. And I'm enjoying a pleasantly a pleasant jog early in the morning, since I don't know much about Karina's. I stuck to the familiar path between the train station and the museum. When I returned, I saw people mingling in the open canopy. That meant there was enough time to eat breakfast before the trek to the cave. I swung a leg over the bench and settled into my seat. After pouring myself some apple juice, I grabbed an orange and began peeling it. 
Did you have a nice jog? Oh, I did fucking know you're here! Oh! It looks much better! Oh, no, you were the midlife crisis hippie band person I'd forgotten. <laughs> Do have muscles, though, so there is that going for us. That, though, uh, mm, not too keen on that. Might have to get rid of that. Startled by the unfamiliar accent, I glanced upward, greeted by a friendly face. I did. It was a short one, though, since I don't want to risk getting lost just yet. I don't know the area well enough. <laughs> Look, I get it. You have big biceps, okay? You don't need to do that. <sighs> the roads can be pretty windy, too. You think you're heading east and somehow end up going north. Oh yeah, I noticed all the streets aren't all clearly marked. The names are mostly on buildings. Yeah. Roads in Europe don't work properly. They're not straight. <laughs> like, Christ. Try getting around the residential area of Crawley. Go north, okay? I'll, I'll, I will take the street which goes north. Not for long, it won't. <laughs> Speaking of names, I'm Melissa. Pleased to meet you. I extended an arm and he accepted my handshake. DeAndre. Enchant- oh god, you have a piercing in your eyebrow. Instantly judged. Instantly judged. <laughs> Wait, you're from around here? Cesar? It's just- you should know what that means. The people here haven't been the friendliest, your accent sounds different in English. I Accents sound different when you speak in another language. I have, like, fun fact, I think I've said this before, but I'll say it again. So, anyone who's watching who's a fluent Spanish speaker uh, will know roughly the different Spanish accents there are. I speak English in quite a uh, mildly, vaguely posh way, okay? I, I can't help that. When I speak in Spanish, I speak like a complete chav. <laughs> accents can be completely different. Uh, that's a terrible thing to say. Like, heaps from around here and you're just like, God, you people are horrible! No, your accent sounds different. Your accent isn't French when you speak English. Did you learn it from somewhere? I studied abroad in New Zealand for a few years and picked up their manner of speech. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> so, of all the accents you could do, you picked up the most monotone one. I know that all New Zealanders speak in a sort of um, deep monotone accent, because I've seen Flight of the Concords, and they all sound like that. That makes sense. Well, it sounds lovely. It's a charming accent, said <laughs> no one ever. Seriously? Sweet a- <sighs> Don't get your phrases from Nickelodeon, okay? I was concerned it might be hard to understand, considering it's not my first language. Glad that's not the case. Yeah, I can tell it's not your first language. I'm grateful that you took the chance. For a while, it seemed like no one wanted to talk to me. I was worried if I was somehow unapproachable. Not at all. Many people here are shy in the beginning, but they warm up quickly. It's been three days. We're only here for like four weeks, most of these people. We were actually intimidated by your presence at first. Yeah, thought as much. Huh? Me? We all thought you were some high school prodigy archaeologist, since you had obviously flown in from another country. Me? A prodigy? Oh, no, no, no. I'm a, just a regular university student working on her anthropology major. And I don't look like a high schooler. Let's... <laughs> Let's just say it's subjective. First year? No, second year. Well, I guess technically third. You? Fourth. I've sort of fallen behind on elective, so a summer one seemed the easiest. We noticed a few students getting up and bringing their dishes to the outdoor wash area. DeAndre reached into his back pocket, then pulled out a phone. He glanced at the display. Speaking of which, if we'd like to, if we'd like to pass, we should start heading out soon. Cave or lab? Right now, I'm on dishwasher duty. <laughs> But I'll be working in the lab afterwards. They're still getting around to approving people's photographs, including mine. How are they... With three days in, they still have... Oh, uh, well, I guess they are understaffed. Again, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. I appreciate it. It's no problem. I know what it's like to be in a new country and away from your folks. That is true. You're in New Zealand, though, and as we know, everyone is friendly there. Once we... I mean... That has to be true, right? That's just how it works in Asia. Mm. Well, that's Oceania, isn't it? Oh, God. It's fine. I never said that, and you can't prove it. <laughs> it's not on video at all. Once we finished breakfast, we stood up at the same time. We momentarily gazed at each other in surprise. He was much taller than I'd expected. Near Kyla's height. 
I, of course he's tall. He, he looks huge. <laughs> you saw him when he walked to Augustine's place. Now that I think about it, most, if not all, of the students here were easily a few inches taller than me or more. <laughs> I know the feeling. I'm a very short 6 foot 11, so everyone's normally much taller than I am. DeAndre hammered a fist into his fist, flat palm excitedly. Oh, that was the other reason we thought you were a high school student. You can't go saying that! That's gonna sound bad! Jesus Christ, DeAndre! Hey, I'm only slightly below average height at home. <laughs> it's like 5 foot 1, aren't we? <laughs> DeAndre grinned in amusement. When we left the canopy, I spotted a middle-aged woman frantically asking students something in French. What's going on? Helena, Elena, sorry, Elena, the receptionist here is looking for volunteers, but it hasn't been easy. I offered to cook a week, but it's not a one-person job. I have a partner for today, but any past that. Sherry did encourage me to participate, more like I would be marked on my helpfulness outside of archaeology, too. Hmm. <laughs> that is the most, yeah, you better fucking help me face ever. It's so passive aggressive. Alright, we'll be a hero. I can volunteer for tomorrow. Would you really? Sweet as... Ma That's such a dumb phrase. I hope you're gonna stop saying that. He said it again. Now I'm curious. Sweet as? Sweet as what? Oh, it's Kiwi slang for awesome, fine, or cool, anything positive. No, it's not. It's what children say. It's a Nickelodeon saying. Sweet as... <laughs> Uh, Lucy Morris turning. As I see, then could you let Eleanor know that I'll sign up for tomorrow? Sure, can do. Thanks! I'm glad my photograph got approved. Now I can finally start digging. What were you doing before? So, where do I start? From the top? Right, you start at the top and work your way back 25 centimeters. Then you proceed downward until you finish the layer. Some people prefer digging back a few centimeters, then work their way down. Either way, as long as you're making progress. For now, we have to remove the couche de meurte. The layer of shit? Jesus Christ. That's the one hell of a name for it. Using her trowel. Is that what that means? Hang on, we'll check. What does couch mean? Because I know what murd means. Couch. Layer. It does mean layer. There you are. That's a random word I knew. <laughs> Probably because it's to do with cake. <laughs> what do you mean unhealthy? Can't prove that. Using her trowel, she etched a line near the top of the square. The dirt at the very top was hard and compact, with footprints all over it. All this is out of context now. People have trampled on it, and it's been exposed to the air for so long, it's better to just remove it all. Couche de Murd? Wait, it sounds similar to Mierda. Therefore, yeah, that's because it is. It's the layer of crap, to phase it mildly. It's the layer of shit. <laughs> crap means something else. Just dig back 25 centimeters and a few down. When it comes to this layer, it'll make working here much easier. This is where the mini game comes in. You'll still need a document for this, but you don't have to worry about the details. Well, at least this will give me the chance to sharpen my excavation <laughs> skills. Yeah, that's something someone would say aloud. I discreetly glanced at Kyla's direction. He must have been super diligent since he had already stripped his layer away. Hesitantly, I take I took the bigger trowel and started scraping around, amazed by the resistance. I had to apply more force to make a dent. Let me give you some tips. Okay. Zero. I'm so completely confused as to what's going on here. It's fine, we'll just fail it. Like, we didn't need to anyway. Now, before we dig, we should first remove the top layer. It's being treaded on, and its soil is now mixed and distributed. You can see how dark and compacted it is compared to the lighter pristine sediment beneath it. Not only that, it's hard to dig through and all clumpy. Already testing it out? Someone's eager. Remember, you only need to remove a few centimeters worth. Try it out. Note the top five row has five besides it, which means this this means five cells must be chiseled, blacked out in an uninterrupted sequence. Since this is a five by five grid, you can clear the full row. Okay. So. Like that? Just like this? Perfect, a clean line. Make sure you don't remove too much or you might be digging into sediments you'll be recording. Is there a way to prevent that? I mean, I can easily distinguish between these two layers, but I'm sure it won't be always this obvious. You can use the tip of your trowel to etch into the sediment. It helps to separate the stratigraphy so you don't have to constantly check to make sure you haven't dug, out, dug into a new layer. 
I'll try it here as a practice run. The etch tool is on the left. Okay, sweet. Etch. Oh. We need to click here? Okay, sure. Uh, it marks the cells that do not need to be chiseled with an X. I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> Great! See that there is a zero beside this row. It means it has no cells that need to be chiseled. Blacked out, you can leave as is. Oh, okay. I thought these were centimeters, but it's not. They're cells that need to be... Okay, so everything here needs to be gotten out, like we did here. Nothing here, nothing here. And there's, there's two per each of these columns, uh, which are these things here. Okay, sweet, got it. It looks like the top layer ends here. I agree. Now you know how much left you need to clear away. Here I go. Uh, chisel. Uh, 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 uh. I'm an archaeology pro. Just call me Tim Robinson. That's perfect. The couche de mert has now been stripped away, revealing the pristine sediments underneath. No, how? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got that much. Thank you. Since you filled out both rows with Mantu 5, all the requirements have been completed. If you click check, it will tell you you've correctly chiseled the cells in the future. You can also skip to pass in the puzzles you can't solve. Oh god, this is... You're gonna love me doing this. We've unlocked a new entry. Woohoo! We... Oh. Hey, Mom, look! I got an entry in my journal. It says shit in it. Uh, it looks like I've completed everything. I feel like a real archaeologist. You are so getting ahead of yourself. That's wonderful. I'll be helping the other students out, but if you're stuck, don't hesitate to ask for my assistance. If you're unsure of a column or row in the future, click the numbers on the sides of the top. Okay. You can use these hints several times for puzzle. The game will keep... Yeah, okay. Careful, though. If your stress levels are too high, you won't get as many hints. Sweet. Got it. Does that make sense so far? I think so. It does until I get confused. Here, I'll show you a little more. This suddenly looks confusing. Now, <laughs> that Kush de Merd is gone. I can start, finally start digging, right? You sound eager, but your hand is still shaking. You feeling okay? I'm good, just a little nervous, since this is 120,000, 125,000, get it right, square. I'm worried I might accidentally throw something of extreme value away. As long as you stay aware and don't dig through the sediments carelessly, we use microstat... I will get this word right one time. Microstratigraphic approaches, which require huge spatial control. Why don't you point out the sediments? Oh, and dig a little into this one. The separation is unmistakable. Everything looks brown to me, but here we go. Multiple numbers on some rows and columns. It might seem a little daunting, but you can start by solving the second row. I don't get what we're trying to do. This row requires two sequences of Sue cells each. You can't chisel them together, or you'd have four for the row instead. This means there needs to be at least one unchiseled blank cell between them. Oh, okay, so it's dirt, 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 dirt. Okay. Okay, right, okay, I get it, I think. So there's usually one place that's blank cell could be. Try chiseling the row now. I think it's like that. Perfect. The first element is a 2AL layer. It's very nice that someone's fucking written the numbers down to like the side. Otherwise, we'd be fucked. This is an alluvial disposition, so it'll be silty and easy to work through. Not many pebbles or grainy textures here. So that's one, two. Excellent. Now let's focus on the first column. See the first one, you already filled it in the second row. It means... Oh, okay. Sure, I get it. So no comma just means that there are... Okay. Which means there are no adjoining cells need to be filled. You can etch the cells around it. Okay, got it. So one and these two can't be, so the other ones have to be this one and this one. Okay, sweet, got it. And there's two here, so these are two together, so it's three, and then there needs to be a separate one here, and then- Okay, I got it! This is easy! Easy is what this is! It's too easy for me! I'm too good for this! Oh, wait until I fuck up. I didn't mean to click that. Damn, bam. Good job. See if you can complete the rest, and click the tra tra try counting from the fourth row. Yeah, I'd already done that! 
So, we had already decided it was like this, right? Because this one and this one can't be a thing. Neither can this one or this one or this one or this one. So now there's a one here, so that has to be there. And that can't be anything. Neither can that. So that's one of these, right? Um, the fourth row. I think we agreed it was probably this one. I can't remember now. <laughs> All right, you know what? We'll see you at the end, okay? Because I need to get my head around this. Yeah, okay. I, it, yeah, it has to be because these ones are here. I, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go for it. I'm pretty sure this is how to do it. Again, I'll see you at the end. Okay, I think this is what it is. So check. Hooray! <laughs> We did it. There we are. It's just logic puzzles. Oh, there are going to be some people who are very good at this and some people who are awful. <laughs> I think I figured out where all the sediments are, Shuri. Agreed. Do you still have your photograph? You can fix up some of the pencil lines you put down before. Usually you need to have your photograph approved by one of the staff members here, but since we're shorthanded, I'll be overseeing the photograph submissions as well. I agreed that the stratigraphy mark down with the stratigraphy. Okay. You can outline the pencil with a permanent marker and start digging from the top once you're done. Thanks, Shuri. We are a hero. While you work on that, I have a quick question. Hmm? Did you bring your journal? I didn't forget it this time. I promise. Wonderful. Also, have you talked to Elena already? She's the receptionist here and oversees the volunteers for cooking and cleaning duties. We already volunteered, I think you'll find. Uh-huh. As you recall, I expect you to volunteer since it'll be for marks too. Already got that covered. I volunteered myself for tomorrow. I'm glad to hear that. I was worried since she doesn't speak English and you didn't ask me for my help. Don't worry. I'm way too outgoing for that. Probably. It's wonderful to see you getting involved from the very beginning. I'd like to do my share, marks or not. I'll let you finish your first task. I'll mostly be helping other students here. Give a holler if you have any inquiries. A holler? What is this, Harlem? A holler? Jesus, I personally want you to get used to digging in the cave first before you transfer to the lab. Next week, you can decide which one you'd like to focus on. Generally, students spend one week in the cave, one week in the lab, then alternate. However, I think flexibility is very important, so I'll let you plan your days. Sounds good. With the conversation finished, Cherie climbed the ladder, leaving me with a remote Kyla. <laughs> Jeez, he digs so fast. He does have experience, though, but I wonder if I can even rely on him. So much for the square mate thing. Pulling the earbuds out of my pocket, I inserted them and turned on my music. Now let's tackle this earth mucky layer. <laughs> the mucky layer indeed. We fail at catching. How do we fail at that? Does it... Why do we fail at that? I don't know. Is there just a random... Is it RNG? Ah, uh, someone can tell me. On to the next episode we go.